Good morning YouTube. We're bringing you another e-bike review. This one from a brand new e-bike company. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Uh, as far as the brand, however, they've been actually producing e-bikes for over the last 10 years. But they're going out on their own and this is not a public design. This is a design of their own which is kind of unique. I love when these companies expand, you know, from the normal day-to-day -day grind of just pumping out e-bikes for other brands. Uh, but this is their brand uh, with all that experience that they got building bikes. And this is a foldable design. Uh, they make a step through uh, and a straight bar. We prefer the step through because it's just a little bit easier for us, especially if you put something on the back rack and we're excited to get this thing out. Um, this thing came up from Florida with us. And as you can see, we're in the semi-bright gray skies and only 40 degree weather of Ohio right now. So uh, we wanna get this out and see what it's like uh, as we've had it a little while. Opening the box, this is standard for package. Well, they did cover the seat. Oh, that looks different. Boy, nice design on the seat. Now, because it's so cold out, I don't know how pliable this is because we're normally in 80 degree weather and that's what we've compared it to in the past. Um, we already know this is something nice. We had this on one of our previous bikes and it's built in bungees. I love that. Um, you don't have to be concerned with having a, a bungee cord, uh, you know, wrapped around this that's loose until you need it. Uh, of course, these will wear out over time, but no big deal. I'll tell you the colors stand out. Got a little cartoonish coloring going on here but there's a reason behind that we wanted bright colors uh let's go ahead and get this out this thing is um supposed to be a pretty powerful bike from what i can tell uh, as far as the specs so we'll pull this out uh clip all these ties off i gotta bolt the front fender on after we put the front tire on and uh, we'll get a good look of it i just want to show you what it looks like coming out of the box and then of course here's all the uh a paraphernalia that goes along with it. The box is uh, always found inside the big box. They pretty much have the same stuff in them, all of them that we've done. Um, not always a toolkit, so that's nice. Let's see what we get in the toolkit on this one, just out of curiosity. Some people include more than others. Oh, well, there's quite a few wrenches. There's all the Allen wrenches. You can, there's quite a bit in here, to tell you the truth. This will definitely cover for the pedals and then all the hold downs, uh, for the clamps for like the handlebar stuff um, and uh, a few other things. That's why they include those as far as the Allen wrenches. The pedals, of course, the infamous pedals. Now you're going to run into a lot of lightweight little foam, styrofoam. Make sure you have a place to dispose of all that. Uh, the bike, it is a projector. Uh, it has one LED in there, I can see. That's, that's pretty standard, again. And then the charger, I'm assuming, is the standard charger. Um, usually these I, I don't get too excited over because they're all pretty much the same. They have their own labeling on them, their own branding. But I do want to break this out. I looked at one thing. And it's a 2 amp charger. Okay. Again, that's standard. Um, sometimes you'll find some three amp chargers, but that's rare, it's really rare. And, and they don't make the chargers, they just, you know, that's something that they get from a, a mass supplier. So at this point in time, uh, the thing that needs to be done is put on the fender at the same time you put your headlight on. Uh, they utilize the same bolt uh, to hold it on, which again, this is standard. This, you know, we've done so many, <laughs> we know that's what happens. And then the 26 by four tire, this is a uh, skewer mount. So the skewer's already on the bike. Um, the tires, you, you will have to check the inflation on them. Uh, this brand of tire, I have not really heard of. I'm, I'm kind of glad it's not a raised white letter. Some people like that. Oh yeah, I've heard of this one, Shaoyang. We've, we've seen that before. Um, but it's a 20 by four inch tire, which is very popular on these folding bikes. So. Let's go ahead, we're gonna warm up just a little bit, come back and uh, bolt, have this stuff all bolted together for you. So it's all together, just as you would expect, not much to put it together. Um, although the seat is uh, very, very comfortable, for longer rides obviously, you want something spring-loaded. 
great design on their part. One of the few that I've seen that when the battery is behind the seat mounted externally, that you do not have to have any kind of seat release to get it out of there. Um, that battery once released will come out without moving the seat or dealing with the seat at all. Now of course, if you have some sort of a, let's say a milk crate that you have strapped here, you want to make sure that you leave enough room for that battery to come out. If not, you can release with a quick release the seat and pull the seat out to get the battery out, just so you know. Everything's pretty decent on it. It does have that one LED. Um, this is not only just a tail light, it is a brake light also. The headlight again, like I said before, you got a halogen bulb in there. I'm sorry, <laughs> an LED bulb, a halogen. Boy, am I dating myself there. The bike's color is quite bright. Um, we purposefully wanted yellow. I didn't know that they had these red accents on the down tubes going to the rear. Uh, the bike with these, uh, you know, of course with that size of battery and with these tires, you are looking on a, uh, the side of probably 65 pounds for the bike. Um, it's, it's a well-built bike. You can tell by the welds. Very well done. The folding mechanism, a little bit tricky, and I didn't even realize it. Not only does it have this, just this latch, this fold-over latch, but once this latch is released, which I'll show you here, and you want it to point down. Don't ever point it up, because as you're pedaling, you could come across and unlatch it. But still, once it's here, you have to lift this to release a locking pin. So, if you go to fold it, just know that. Once that's released, though, this is probably one of the smoothest transitions as far as closing uh, on any of the folding bikes we've had. I was concerned with this single down tube. It is rated for 350 pounds. Um, it's not an issue, I think, because of the way that it's uh, it's a big tube. I mean, it's it's really wide here, even though it looks really thin here. Same with the folding mechanism up here. This is a push button release, so either to latch it or unlatch it, that button has to be pushed in. Just like I said, either latching it or unlatching it, this has to be pushed in. You have your suspension, and of course these big tires, which we talked about in that in previous videos. Uh, you know, when you have a four inch tire, you get a certain level of suspension and comfort going on there. The rear rack is standard. The fenders are standard. You don't have to pay for those. Uh, some of the companies we've dealt with in the past, you've had to pay up to $80 for those items each. So be aware that they are including those. As far as the pedal assist on this, it seems to be pretty smooth. Uh, there's not a, uh, a jerky motion. There's not like, a, oh, it's taken off kind of a thing. On the battery, you do have a, a battery gauge. It tells you what the battery's at powered on. You can see there. Um, on this side here you do have an on off switch and you have your charging port. So up on the display it's a long press on the M to bring it up. You can go into the settings which this is one of the few companies that I've known in the manual um, that's online that includes the uh, P settings. So you can change your max speed, you can change it to kilometers an hour or mile per hour. Um, I changed the brightness of the display. It's, it's set at 2 initially. We put up the 3, which is the brightest. Of course, your pedal assist. You can see this just changes as you uh, hit the button here. And the pedal assist, you can see here, just changes up to 7. You can adjust that in those P settings. You can make it to where it's only 3 if you want. It's kind of nice to have those extra settings all the way up to 7. That way, in case you're riding with somebody and their bike's set up a little bit different, you can go through these minute differences to get there. This is an entry-level Shimano 7-speed. Um, I think that's what they call the Altus, maybe? Uh, I can't remember. Um, sorry, Turney. Altus is the 8-speed. That's the next one up. It's a quiet ride. It's very quiet. The motor's very quiet. It's very powerful. The ground out here is pretty soft. And when I came back from my little ride, uh, just... Escal uh, accelerating up this little incline it worked out really well especially with my big butt on there the brakes are mechanical but they are big disc um, they stop very well the pedals on this do not fold uh, I have to say that's a one feature that you can add if you want later they don't fold to make it slightly 
more narrow. And I'm going to tell you, with those folding pedals, you only get uh, that much more because when they fold, they're still that big. So you would gain that much more space if you're trying to get it in a really tight area to have those pedals fold up. That's up to you. I've never seen a benefit one way or the other. Um, I like these pedals, how big they are compared to the folding ones. The folding ones are, are pretty skinny. And they're a little heavier, too. And if you're moving this thing around, you definitely every little pound counts, every little ounce counts. Uh, the cable management looks really good as far as it being confined. I mean, I've had bikes that stuff has been in every direction, but their cable management's nice on this. They did a very good job with it, um, even though it's exposed. All these cables are exposed all the way back. Um, except whenever it comes through the uh, frame here which you can kind of see there but yeah this is a uh, it's a pretty decent bike I was surprised with the uh, quality of the paint and the quality of the welds it's a flat yellow um, I would call this a school bus yellow although I'm colorblind um, and the red is definitely bozo red uh, so you got kind of a, a McDonald's theme going on here from what I can tell uh, looks like Ronald McDonald but uh, it's nice to have something this bright for the recognition on the road. I mean, people are wearing those yellow vests for a reason. So we're going to have a link in the description for this. If this is something you think you might want to jump into, uh, we've done so many reviews on so many bikes. Uh, I can say that this one, as far as the lightweight uh, feel of it, how nimble it is, uh, ranks right up there. Uh, the battery definitely um, we've had a few folding bikes that didn't have a uh, 15 amp hour battery like this one does so that's going to help out uh, considerably and then the fact that they include the fenders and the rack and it's got a brake light and a front and rear light integrated you know already very nice and again those p settings um, that's really nice that you can adjust those p settings without any kind of uh uh, you know, calling them up and trying to figure it out on your own. I, I like this. Um, it's, uh, again, high peak, and this is called the Elias. It is yellow. You can get it in white or gray. And uh, great company. I've had good dealings with them. Their communication is, you know, really, really spectacular. The one thing that I'll have to say, you know, with it being a newer company, um, if this is their first offering, Man, they're, they're really going to go somewhere because this is comparable to all the other e-bikes that we've dealt with. And this is their first time out of the shoot as far as having their own brand out there. So kudos to them. Heidi's going to take it up and down the road here. And the uh, thing that I forgot to mention is it does have a quarter twist throttle on it. And the bell. It's got a really nice bell. Pleasant. Not like a harsh beeper. So we'll see how she does on it. How do you feel on it so far? It's Good. very low. Yeah. Like, wow. You know, I like that. Yeah. It, it, wow. I can't believe her feet touch like that. I mean, there's a lot of adjustments. You can adjust this and you can adjust the seat. So yeah. if you want to ride up. A lot taller. Right. A lot taller. You can. Okay. Let's see this thing. Like I said, I, I think it's pretty decent. It's not, it's not as jumpy as some of the other ones. One thing I notice about these uh, bigger tires, though, with the uh, knobbies, they do make some noise when you get up to speed. So, what do you think about that? Uh, another smooth ride. Uh, very easy to use. I mean, I... How about the pedal assist not being jerky? I love it. It's, yeah. It, it's, uh, 
it's it's responsive but not jerky at all yeah we we've, we've got another bike that we it's like reviewed pedaling a regular bike right we have another bike that we reviewed that it does a great job giving you assist but man it just it jerks you around quite a bit <laughs> you can pop a wheelie yeah <laughs> not this one this is good low um this definitely short people i'm not sure what height though i didn't look this one up yeah i'll, I'll have to put that number in here yeah so again links are in the description and heidi's giving it her thumbs up so it must be good for short people yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll close this out as always we hope to see you out there bye bye